Hi, this is Jeffrey Bale, N1BMX. What you see here is a project that I have been working on for the past couple weeks. It's a CW touch key. Instead of having a mechanical key like this Vibroplex here where there's a lot of adjusting to be done in order to get everything just right for you, um, I wanted something a little more simple. And I ended up reading that the touch key was basically the, the simple as you can go. Um, there's a place online called CW Touch Keyer. Dot com where you can buy the electronic kit for this where all you need is a, basically a battery and some pieces of metal and you got yourself a you know a, a nice key you know touch key where you can touch to get your dits and dots and um, I designed the case around it because I didn't know whether or not I wanted a you know the vertical keys or the horizontal keys so I designed a case with both which <laughs> I don't know I just felt like I can do it so I did it um, there's a couple switches here. This is for the power on. You know, right now I just turned it off. So power on, and I have a selector switch where I can select either the front keys or the rear vertical keys. So whatever mood you're in, you can switch to one or the other. I've been noticing I've been using the uh, horizontal setup more. Um, I'm still new at Morse code, so I still got a lot to learn. But so far, I am loving this. Right now, what you're seeing is still in a prototype stage where the brass keys right here for the horizontal is actually in a piece of fiberglass, but I gotta mold it in there and that'll take some time. So I just taped it just to see if this thing even works. Um, the base is a sturdy 3 8 plate material here, if I can get my thumb out of the way. It's 3 8 plate and the rest of it's made out of 16 gauge steel with 16 gauge. 062 brass contacts for the, the contacts. Um, my radio is an FT950 and it has a built in keyer, so this is perfect for it. You know, I can do the, I can set the speed from here and do 50 words a minute, which I will never do. <laughs> I can't do that. Or I can go at my much more comfortable 18 words a minute. You know, I'm comfortable at that right now. So, this is it. I just wanted to show people. And if you go to n1bmx.com, you can see the build, how I built this and designed this. And if you have any questions, you can ask there. Um, I plan on having it painted and doing a little more adjustments. So, I realize that the screws that you see here I designed for 1032, a little too big. But overall, it's pretty good. I can send, I can send code decent, but <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> yeah, <let's> see. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use the back keys or the vertical keys. I can use the horizontal keys, all depending on the mood you're in. <laughs> I messed up, sorry. So, just get you the general gist of it, show you that it works. Um, Get some more pictures up at N1BMX when it's painted and font done. I doubt you'll ever see something like this, but I think it's pretty neat. You know, 3 8 plate base makes it a lot heavier, so it keeps it from moving as much. And when I get the rubber feet installed, it won't move that much at all. Hope you enjoy this, and if you have any questions or comments, I'll try to answer them. As I said, I'm not a genius or the best at CW or anything having to do with CW, but I thought it was a fun project to build. And um, it's going to probably look pretty good when it's done. <laughs>